again and it's great to be back in the garage. I've got uh, another little airbrush project to do and this time I'm going to try and recreate this flower for Mia. She's been wanting a flower painting for a while and I need to get round to it really. Now I think, as is pretty much always the case, the first thing is going to be to cut some sort of shield. And I think we'll cut a shield for the whole flower to start off with. Right, so, well, uh, we're not going to use this blank because it's um, a portrait orientation blank so uh, let's get rid of that and I've got a landscape one that I prepared earlier here so put that one on the easel made some recent modifications to the easel I've drilled a couple of holes here and I can just put these um, kebab sticks through and it gives me just a couple of points to rest the blank on rather than it resting on the whole lip because then uh, sometimes when the paint gets a bit thick it'll stick anyway that's a bit of an improvement right let's position this crudely on here i think what we're after Probably going to have trouble with this shield because it's a bit floppy because, uh, well, it's because there's not much left of the outside of it. I'm going to back these right out so I can get the overlap that I want. <laughs> I don't think. But, uh... Right, now I can position the, uh, the flower correctly. Let's put a couple of magnets on that. There's one in the middle. We can take this off. Now, I suspect young Mia has set us a bit of a task here. This is perhaps not going to be the easiest project to do. I struggled a little bit last time with the uh, previous flower for Franny. You would have thought uh, maybe a flower would be nice and easy, but uh, not so really. Just going to lower this down so it's nice and flush with the edge of the I suspect I haven't got quite enough magnets, one for each petal. Was not there? Yeah, we're doing all right. As we use them all. Fantastic. Well, uh, there's not much actual white anywhere on this picture, so I think the first thing I want to do is just give the whole thing uh, a little bit of a wash over with a very light green, something. Um, like either here or here just so at the end of the picture when I think I've done everything there's nothing left that will be absolutely bare white anymore I think that's probably a good place to start so I'm gonna mix up 
some really light green now. Yeah? Well, uh, what to do next? I think I'm actually going to go to the other end of the scale and mix up this really dark green and do these bottom corners and some of these little bits and pieces up here to give me some sort of uh, framework to hang the rest of the background on. I can always lighten bits and pieces up later. And everything is uh, out of focus and blurry, so the detail uh, isn't really there in this, so it doesn't really matter if it's not exactly the same as the reference, I guess. That's my thinking, anyway. Wow, it's uh, definitely the right day for working inside the garage. It's uh, absolutely chucking it down with rain out there. Okay, well, um, you might have spotted that I didn't actually do what I said I was going to do there. Um, when I mixed up the green, it didn't really go as dark as I thought it might. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just do the next sort of shade down. And then I can go steadily from light to dark. So now I'm just going to uh, darken up that green with... Um, a little more blue and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Well uh, you can see the whole thing is still a little bit lighter than the overall picture so I'm just going to add a little bit of black in there. I did put a little bit of black in with the last lot but I'm going to add even more black and just leave the dregs of the green in there to give it a blacky greenish tinge just to bring in these really dark bits. Right, so well now I've uh, mixed up a bit of a, a dirty yellow just by not cleaning out the green pot very well and just putting some yellow in it. Seemed to work. And uh, I'm now going to put in these bits here, which are sort of dirty, greeny, yellowy colour. And maybe some of these little highlights down here. Let's give it a go. Well, uh, I reckon we're getting there with the background. I think the thing to do next is um, we need to get these little sort of stalk things in. Um, and they're quite sharp, so I think what I might do is make a little shield for them. Um, could do that one freehand, I suppose. That one's a bit more out of focus. Not entirely sure, but I think I'm going to at least start by making a shield. Or will I? Yes, I think I will. A bit indecisive about this, aren't I? Mount that shield on here. I'm going to have to reposition some of these magnets. I'm going to do a little bit at a time. I'm going to do this side, and I'm going to do that side. I think what I'm going to do is try spraying off the side of the shield, just bounce the stuff in um, if I can. I think that'll give it a bit more. Um, what's the word? bit more substance, a bit more, uh, I don't know, a bit more something. <laughs> maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Right, so, well, I think that's where we'll leave it for today because uh, what I've found is that if you use these magnets to hold anything on when the paint is still reasonably fresh it does leave a little mark so 
remove this shield for the time being and I'll keep it safe until we're able to come back to this to carry on with it. Let's have a look, see what it looks like so far, eh? Be careful moving these magnets as well, I always try and pull them towards the inside of the shield because they are pretty strong and they can sometimes skip and uh, scratch what we've just painted. Right. Well, there we go. That's uh, the project so far. Well, we've actually had quite a break from this one and it's been uh, almost a week, I think, since we last touched this, maybe more. So uh, it's definitely dry. Uh, but the first thing to do, I think, today is to mask up everything except the flower and just give the whole thing a coat of a very, very light pink. Well, I'm really thinking there's only one way to do this and that's um, one petal at a time. So. Let's go for it. Quite a laborious task, I think, but uh, should come out all right in the end, hopefully. Right, so I've stuck this uh, flower shape back in and I'm just gonna do this one petal, try and get it look a bit like that. Oh, well, uh, that's quite intense. Um, I'm feeling a little bit tired now, so instead of mucking it up by rushing, I'm going to call it a day for tonight and uh, carry on with this another day. But let's take the mask off and see what it looks like so far. Well, it's uh, looking reasonably promising. Quite labour intensive though. I think when I get to the petals at the top here, they aren't quite as in focus. So I might get away with doing a little bit more freehand stuff there. We'll see. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.